I think it's a, it's a point of time where it's a bit of a balancing act that Fed has got gotten itself into. Um, the inflation numbers, the way the uh, trend is really showing, uh, it's it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, being in the five and a half percentage range for the last few months uh, doesn't augur any confidence in terms of the inflation coming down. Uh, and with whatever came in on Friday on the NFP numbers, that's becoming all the more uh, a story of stickiness. Um, so on one hand, you have the inflation and the uh, the very clear the the building blocks staying very strong. And on the other hand, you have the uh, chapters uh, unfolding on the banking prices. Uh, very clearly, the uh, credit momentum is kind of getting affected. Uh, so to that extent, uh, you are looking at a uh, recession fears, uh, you know, down the pipe. So um, I would say the, uh, the in the next two to three months is going to be quite, uh, um, quite a, uh, you know, a kind of an unfolding of, of uh, what lies ahead uh, going forward um, in terms of the uh, Fed steps. Charity, what about right here in the UAE? Because obviously they've got a big buffer with the higher oil prices that we saw earlier in the year and frankly the expectation that they could run higher in the near term. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I think the, um, the UAE banking landscape remains extremely uh, strong. The, the numbers reported over, over uh, the first quarter tells you how well the banks are placed. Uh, there is a lot of liquidity in the system. Having said that, uh, there is uh, the, the overall recessionary trend uh, that is expected going forward globally will start impacting the oil prices and the kind of commitments that the uh, regional uh, entities out here have, I mean, the government regional entities have towards growing the economy um, will have to stay on despite uh, a lower oil price uh, in order for the private sector to keep participating in the in the growth of the region. Uh, so uh, I would say bottom line, the private sector investments are not coming as you would imagine them to be, uh, given the high interest rate scenario. But the government has to step up and the government rated entities have to step up that extra bit and put in more and more of their oil money and oil dollars in order to keep the economy uh, flo afloat. Uh, we, we, are, we are looking at uh, very high uh, projections uh, at the beginning of the year in terms of uh, what the growth would look like, but I don't think we will be matching uh, the previous year's growth. Uh, we would probably be in the uh, high threes or the very early fours in terms of the growth for the year of 23.